Hello guys. Serious panic in Asurok as Nigerian youth are setting off another major protest vowing to shut down the country to voice their frustration at the current state of the nation. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The protest named End Bad Governance in Nigeria 2024 is anticipated to be similar or bigger than the 2020 NSAS movement. The protest scheduled for August 1st to August 10th, 2024, aims to bring attention to various complaints against the current administration. Participants from different regions ethnic groups and religious backgrounds across Nigeria uh, have been advised to join the protest. We spent 10 days with its core message captured in the slogan, 10 days of rage. We are not slaves. Key cities such as Lagos, Abuja, Kano, Port Harcourt, Enugu, and Kaduna are set to be focal points for major activities. The protesters have listed 10 key demands, which includes ending subsidy scams and reducing fuel prices to below 300 naira per litre, reviving territory education fees to previous rates by reversing recent subsidies, restoring affordable electricity tariffs, Restating previous import duty rates, publicly disclosing and reducing the salaries and allowance of the Senators, House of Representatives members, and the Speaker. Protesters are advised to wear white attire, path preferably with black accents, and bring play cards, handkerchief water bottles, a white cloth or ribbon, and the Nigerian flag designated meeting points include the local government and House of Representatives members, residents, as well as governor's offices nationwide in Abuja. The garden point is the National Assembly building. Okay. Okay, let's see the tweets below. Dr. MJI Doctor. <laughs> nationwide protest now. Every while joining the protest, we make it bigger than answers. Let them see what the citizens can do. Praying alone will not end bad governance. We also need to come out and fight for our rights. We must make some sacrifice for the sake of the next generation. Enough is enough. We cannot continue to be slaves in our country. We have less than 2% of them. We are 98%. August 1st remains August 1st. And bad governance now. Nigerians, this is really generating reactions. Carry that your prof, uh, protest go for Mahmoud Yakubu has first because he's the one that caused it. Okay, uh, since fuel subsidy is not paid again, the Kaba is ready to sponsor all sorts of protests. After the youth will be, after all, the youth will be the one to be killed while their children are studying in good universities abroad. Let's keep moving to Nubu is a bad person. Since first subsidy is not paid to the one scatter Nigeria, I don't know what this person is trying to say here. This must, this might stampede as you were just dream to reduce political office orders, pay and reject, inject into minimum pay. Most, if not all our senators are billionaires, all the Jewish contracts are in, the, in their palms, 
why are they still okay strongly north politicians payroll is too attractive that is why it is do or die affair our politicians should change their mindset to avert any calamity Till now we have no political party with human face in nigeria okay this if we do not fight for what is right then what is wrong we continue to enslave us from choice of discretion living our lives in nightmare in the hands of these people regaining the true balance of living we have to stand fight for what is right or we remain a coward forever i hear people say why are they protesting this is what they always do and this is what they always say what is the need of protesting why are you protesting do you like the way we are now wait oh how do you let the government know that you are not happy with what is going on how do you let the government know if not for pro if not protesting i they think say na protest naive nigerians I mean, now in the masses, they tell they let the government they know, say, see, this thing, we don't like it, and you have to look into it. If you don't protest, how would they know that you don't like what is going on? We just have to change our mindset. This is no longer funny. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.